CNN viewers, what's up? Uh, today we are going to do gluten-free tapioca wraps. Um, obviously the preparation time will be 15 minutes, cook time 10 minutes, and it will lead to 10 wraps. Let's start with the ingredients. Here you have two and a half cups, almost 300 gram tapioca starch or flour, and um, we have then seven ounces of low moisture parsley mozzarella cheese grated and two ounces of parmesan reggiano cheese finely grated. I mix them all together. And then we need three tablespoon oil and one egg. In a, in a large saucepan, bring the milk to a simmer over medium heat. So as soon as the milk begins to simmer, turn off the heat and add the tapioca flour with the salt and then the olive oil. So as I said, I mixed the milk with the tapioca flour, salt and olive oil. Obviously, as you can see, the mixture uh, will look curdled and will be difficult to bring all together. But don't worry, allow this dough to cool for at least 10 minutes before transferring it to a bowl of a food processor fitted with a steel blade. So here I have my food processor, Breville, and I already put the steel blade in order to mix my dough. So after 10 minutes, the dough has cooled down, so I transferred it in my Breville in the larger large uh, bowl of 16 cup. So now we pulse it. First of all, we have to turn it on. And then we have to pulse it this, like a few times in order to smooth our dough. Then I'm going to add my beaten egg. As you can see, I'm going to add them through so I added the egg, beaten egg uh, through the large mouth of the processor and then and then I have pulse again until the egg is in contact. Just pulse it again until all the egg. So as I say, once the eggs are added, uh, I have to turn on the machine and allow it to work until the dough is smooth for two or three minutes. Uh, and obviously you can see here that I put like, you know, the timer for three. You can see after three minutes, the dough is really smooth. And it can be really, um, let's say, like, you know, um, really very thick and stretchy. I will show it right away to you. I'm using my spatula right now. Actually, this is the Breville spatula. As you can see, after three minutes, the dough is really smooth, but it's really thick, very thick and stretchy. Now it's time to add the grated cheese. As you can see, I have added all the cheeses on the dough. I have to turn on my food processor and let it like, you know, work. First of all, I have a little work for two minutes till the dough is smooth. Uh, first, I have to just uh, set my timer to two minutes. Two minutes. And See, it say to me, insert pusher. That's another, as I have explained before in my previous uh, videos, the machine won't start if I don't put the pusher. So once I put the pusher, start to work. Start to work for two minutes until the dough is really smooth. So 
So after two minutes, as you, as you can see, the dough is really sticky. But it will, it will get less sticky once it will cool down. And plus, um, now I will transfer uh, this dough basically to the freezer for 30 minutes. And if you want to put it in the refrigerator, you have to put it for two hours at least or overnight. As you can see, this is the dough after 30 minutes. Um, once the dough is, has chilled, uh, then we have to transfer it on a wrap so we can uh, start working on it. So as you can see, my dough was uh, chilled and I cut it in uh, small pieces. Uh, actually, I cut uh, the whole dough in two pieces with a ben bench scraper or sharp knife. And then every uh, uh, piece of these two pieces was cut into another five pieces. Uh, every small, uh, like you know, in another five equal pieces, each about three ounces. Uh, then obviously you have just to dust each piece uh, generously with the tapioca flour and roll out into a circle of eight inches in diameter moving the dough often and sprinkling it with tapioca flour when necessary to prevent it from sticking. So you can carefully place the first circle of dough uh, onto a hot skillet and allow it to cook until the underside is cooked. And uh, uh, the wrap can be lifted easily with a white spatula. As you can see, <clears throat> I flipped the wrap over and I pressed down evenly with the spatula to sear the other side and I cook it until the underside is set, about another 40 seconds. Check this out, she's rolling it out. Dude, this looks so yummy, look at that. Very difficult to do them because they are gluten-free. I know, this is like gluten-free cooking right here. And I can tell you, I've had these before, they're super yummy, dude. Look at that, I wanna eat one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Gluten-free action. Really now why do you use the wax paper so you can pull it off easy? Yeah. Okay. Because they are so sticky because they are gluten free and as you can see it's really difficult. Now what kind of flour are you using? Tapioca flour. Well I love this tapioca dude. Check it out. She's cooking it. It's like reverse style. On the pan. It's like reverse on the pan. Why do you do it like that? It looks crazy. This is the way that tortilla has been always made. You have to put them in a heated own, uh, a heated skillet. But you don't put it on the other side. You put it on this side. No, first you have to cook the, the underside. Mm. When it's cooked for one two minutes, then you can um, uh, just you know flip it. <laughs> Those at home will note that I do not have uh, extensive chef skill, <laughs> but I've got uh, superior eating skills in my opinion. This is the last result of these powerful tortillas. They do look powerful. They are really, really good. This is the last result. Um, we have the great nether beans uh, with the meat and tomato sauce, uh, rice with zucchini and mushrooms, and wraps, uh, tapioca wraps with cheese, avocado, and we have the green onions. It's very healthy and bon appetit. What's up, JDV? <laughs> Dude, this stuff is awesome. I got my tapioca tortilla right here. CNN peeps, what's up? Okay, I've been munching this and it's super good, dude. I'm like more than halfway done. And so check this out. This rice is just like, it's bismati rice, dude. Mmm, oh my gosh. It's got great flavor. This right here has got some meat in it. Mmm, and some beans. And so I like to make a little, uh, I don't know, quasi burrito, if you will, a little wrap action. Like if um, if you like eating food like naan and stuff, and then put this as a little booster, like a little like um, this little you know onion booster. So I eat this. Mm. So good, dude. You don't even know. And you boost it. Oh yeah. A little extra zip. This is like. What's crazy about this is you got that tapioca flour. So you bite into it and it's good. It's like a clean taste, but it's chewy. So you gotta keep working on it, but not in a bad way. 
like in a good way, and you've got that flour, but you don't have the gluten too. It's like, it's really good. I love tapioca. You finished the first one with the avocado and cheese and uh, with the provolone cheese and I mozzarella. Everything. Yeah. I ate everything. So this is the one without because... See, it's a new combination. Because Tama can cook and I love to eat. So that works out. You see how it is? I'm trying. You, you got to eat this. You got You should scope this out right here. Maybe this, you can start helping too. I mean, my skills are... Uh, they're acceptable, <laughs> a little limited, but you know, I mean, I'm good at what I'm good at, and what I'm not good at, I admit it. But I'm just saying right here, if you want to try this recipe at home, I think that you might be interested in it, it might be pretty cool. I think you'd like it, in my opinion, you might. I mean, everyone likes different things, but but I love it. I think it's great, and uh, I'm glad we made it, I'm glad we brought it to you. So check it out, give me the comments below, please subscribe, please rate this video up. Thanks for watching. I'm John. That's Salma. You're watching Salma's Kitchen on Conservative Media. We'll see you next time.